Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation. So in today's video, I will be solving sine and cosine series in C programming. So these are the most uh, asked question in our channel to solve sine and cosine series uh, using C program. Okay, so the question is write a program to find the sum of cosine series. Okay, write a program to find the sum of n terms of cosine series okay so this n term is given by the user so what is first of all let us discuss what is cos cosine series so you can directly use the formula cos and the value whatever you want to give here uh, using the function math dot h okay but we have to solve this using the program so the formula is cos x equals to 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x4 by 4 factorial minus x6 by 6 factorial okay so if you see there are a few things that we have to observe in this first one is the series starts with a 1 okay so we can put this value before only and then you can see there are something that we observe there is an alternative minus and plus here minus plus minus again plus will come again minus will come okay so we have to play with the sign first thing is one is fixed here second thing is we have to consider the sign okay third thing thing is if you see in each series the term is even number like if you see x to the power 2 by 2 factorial so this is even number and if we add plus 2 here will get the next term that is x 4 by 4 factorial if you add 2 here you will get the next term that is x 6 by 6 factorial next fourth thing that you have to observe is whatever value is there we are going to find the factorial of the same value and we are going to give the power by the same value okay so if suppose if you give the i value equals to 2 we will get x i by i factorial if you increase this i value by 2 again we are give to give you are going to give x i by i factorial and the fifth thing is we are going to find the power in the numerator and we are going to find the factorial in the denominator fine so these are the few things that you have to observe in this program and there are n methods to solve the program but i'm going to solve using a very easy method i hope you'll get it so first thing is we are going to change that is if you are going to give cos x and the series so this x is something in degree that we give in degree suppose x 30 it means that cos 30 degree is this much the sum of series of cos 30 degree is this much but while doing the c programming we cannot use degree so we are going to convert this degree in radian so what is the formula the formula is x equals to 30 degree into pi by 180 and whatever answer will come it is the value of x in radian so if you solve this you are going to give you are going to get the value 5 2 3 that is in radian hence if you are going to give this formula cos 0 0.523 and if you are going to solve the series till fourth sorry till third term you are going to solve it like one first term 0 0.523 square by 2 factorial plus 0 0.523 5 4 by 4 factorial and so on okay so let's now it's time to solve the program so first of all let me show you the uh, let me solve you the program in this whiteboard and then we are going to do the same in compiler okay so first of all the program starts with as include and then main function okay and then what we are going to do we are going to ask the number of term n and we are going to ask the value of x in degree 
then we are going to convert this x in radian okay so while writing the program what you are going to do so let me write the program from here so first of all we are going to fix the value of sum as 1 and we are also going to fix the value of sine that is minus 1 so as I explained above this is for the sine that is plus minus plus minus okay and then what we are going to use we are going to use two loop that is for i equals to 2 i less than equals to n i equals to i plus 2 okay because 1 is fixed and we are going to get we are going to use the value from 2 so we are starting from 2 and plus 2 because we are going to increase this by 2 that is next will be x4 okay so in the inside this for loop we are going to um, just for using the factorial if you remember the code of factorial we are going to declare a variable fact as 1 and we are going to use another loop that is j equals to 1 j less than equals to i and j plus plus so this loop is for finding the factorial okay so quickly let me write this in new page okay so for i equals to 2 i less than equals to n i plus 2 and fact equals to 1 for j equals to 1 j less than equals to i and j plus plus inside this fact equals to fact into j okay and this loop is for finding the factorial and this loop is for finding the whole term that is sum so sum equals to sum plus power x comma i divided by fact and whole uh, this whole into sine okay and next we are going to change the sine equals to sine into minus 1 okay so I have explained the theory part in the above part so let me take suppose we want to find the sine series uh, cosine series up to third term it means that the value of n is 3 okay so let's see from here i equals to 2 okay i less than equals to 3 yes it is correct so i equals to i plus 2 so next is fact equals to 1 now here j equals to 1 j less than equals to the value of i is 2 so here it is 2 yes it is true so it goes inside the value of fact is 1 so fact equals to 1 into 1 again as this is a nesting loop so first of all this will end so now the j value become 2 2 is this then equals to 2 yes it is true so it comes inside and now the value of fact is 2 okay that is the this is 2 factorial we can say now this loop ends so we come inside we go to the next step so what is the value of sum sum is 1 so sum equals to 1 plus pow x comma I. so what is the value of x that is in radian yes so it is 0 0.5 something we solve over 0 0.52 something comma i is 2 it means that it is nothing but x to the power 2 yes divide by fact so fact of uh, fact is 2 factorial so 2 factorial and into sine means the value of sine was minus 1 yes so it becomes minus 1 hence this is nothing but 1 minus x square by 2 factorial okay so the for next term what happens the value of no after this the value of sine is changed to minus 1 into minus 1 that is plus 1 so for the next term the value of sine will be plus now the value of i will be 3 yes and so on we are going to find the next term okay that is x4 by 4 factorial fine so let me solve the question for this so let me qu quickly write this has INCLE to include stdiu dot h next is int main ok 
okay so the next is you have to consider a number of term n then you have to consider the value of i and the value of g and next we'll consider the value of term that is x the value of sine okay uh, and the value of sum fine and i think there is one one more variable that is fact yes so let us ask this from user printf enter the number of term uh, let me write slash n okay so it is s can f percentage f address of n okay now we have to ask the value of enter the mm, value of x yes so i'm just going to copy this enter the value of value of x here we are going to give value of x that is x okay so next step is we have to convert this x into radian so x equals to x into 3.14 divide by 180 okay so next is we have to initialize the value of sum so i have initialized this as one and then we have to put the value of sine which i'll put as minus one okay now let's start the loop that is i equals to two i less than equals to n i plus sorry i equals to i plus 2 okay so next is um, fact equals to 1 and next is we'll use the second loop that is j equals to 1 j less than equals to i and j plus plus okay so next step is fact equals to fact into j so this is for finding the factorial and after finding the factorial we are going to find the sum so sum equals to sum plus we are going to find the numerator that is pow so for pow we have to use math function okay so x comma i and here divide by fact and this whole into sign so this is for finding the sign now we are for the next term we are going to just opposite just change the sign to the opposite uh, positive or negative so sign what is this into minus one yes so the value of sine is changed to minus 1. So after finding the sum of all the term while using the loop, we are going to print um, printf. We are going to print the sum of series equals to percentage f slash n and here it is the sum okay so this is the code so let's see uh, first of all let me save this so for this okay so as i told you for power function we have to include math dot h okay command this so uh, what I did here, I think I have misplaced this as D. Okay. Okay. So, dot slash A dot out. Enter the number of term. So, if you see the five term and if you put the value, that is cos 30 for five term, the value is 0 0.8661. 
you can also uh, find this using the calculator you will get the same answer okay so that's all for cosine series now next video i'll coming up with sine series till then stay safe and thank you